y'all welcome to another episode of sipping with your magic thank you for watching my channel how are you guys doing today on this memorial day what are y'all up to what y'all got going on i got some good good there's a fly in here lord jesus um <laughs> um i got some good good y'all look at this i went got me i wanted some barbecue so i was gonna go get me some rib tips right um and I went to the grocery store and I changed my mind. And the the Chinese bar that they had set up, it looks so good. So I wound up getting me some Chinese food. What the hell is that? Some Chinese food. Don't that look so good? And some good old watermelon. Y'all know y'all got to have watermelon. Especially on like the 4th of July, Memorial Day. I don't know. I eat watermelon all the time anyway. But why does it have to be a holiday to want some watermelon? And my friends like natural light beer, and I have some in the ice box. I'm not a big beer drinker, but I am going to try it with my meal today. What are y'all sipping on? Come over here to run my mouth. Hold on, let me do a thumbnail before I get to sit, get to the good good. Chinese food. Oh, let me turn this around. I have to show y'all some bedroom candy items. Chinese food and watermelon. <laughs> Thumbnail. This is going to be good. Let me say my prayer and I can run my mouth to y'all real quick. See what this beer tastes like. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Hold on, y'all, real quick. I don't know if I like this natural light. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I had to get my vodka, my, uh, my Patron. Ooh, that's better. Y'all, don't y'all, let me say my prayer real quick while I get to, I'm all over the place. Lord, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. Bless the ones that are not, not able to have food on their table. Bless them to have food. Thank you for another day. Thank you for my health, my strength. My family, my YouTube family, and thank you for another day and this food. Amen. But y'all, I had them do rice and noodles, which I don't know why. And I don't like my meats touching because it drives me crazy. So I might put it separately. Y'all want a bite? Let y'all take the first bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know, if you go somewhere, I got me some soy sauce and a fortune cookie, too. Y'all ever went somewhere and you see the food and you're like, oh, my God, that is going to be fire. That's going to taste so good. And then you eat it and it's not good. <laughs> or it's not what you thought it was going to be. This looked like it was going to be fire. And it is fire. I like where they put the onions and stuff in the rice. Yeah, just make a mess, Kiva. It's all right. This is really good. This will last me a while. I had to put out a towel because I didn't want to get messy. I need to get one of those boards that the mukbangers be having. I think it's just a, a cutting board. I need to get a cutting board. So when I come out here to eat, I'll be ready to go. But y'all, I was about to say, I forgot I was about to say before I said the prayer. I was about to say, don't you hate when somebody gets some Kool-Aid out the icebox or orange juice or lemonade and they only leave like a corner in the thing? This is really good. Got my good old egg roll. So, I'll say that to say, I went and made me a drink. And look at the corner, y'all. This is what, what I put in the ice box. It don't make no damn sense. Should've just poured it in the cup. 
I put it right back in the ice box, and I'm like, let me take this out so I can show them. People leave a corner. I'm like, why don't you just drink the rest of it? <laughs> Especially when you really got a taste for like Kool-Aid or something, or you really got a taste for it. And you go to get it, and it's on your corner left. That pisses me off. Oh, my God, I get so mad. And I live by myself, but when I was growing up, my brothers used to do it all the time. And I used to be so irritated. I'm like, why didn't y'all just drink it or, or something? Don't put it back in the ice box. People are crazy like that. But, um, so yeah, y'all, last night, I had a relaxing evening or whatever. I wound up, um, got these some big pieces of meat. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm. So last night I watched the YouTubers and the people that I follow. And I got up today and started watching some more. Y'all, Marquise Hilton, if y'all haven't started following him, y'all don't know what y'all miss him. That dude and his mama is fucking hilarious. I was cracking the hell up. Uh, Michi85 has a challenge going on where, God, why am I making a mess? Michi85 has a, a challenge going on. Um, I think it's called like no hands challenge. And you can eat whatever you want, but you have to eat it like in seven minutes. And so um, him and his mom wind up doing the challenge and they was eating pizza. And I was cracking the hell up because they, <laughs> his mama couldn't find the pizza um, on the board. And Marquise Hilson was like, don't you come over here. He's like, girl, don't you come over here. And so she just be cracking up and stuff. And I was rolling. I see, I seen CJ and Sharice did it too. They did a sandwich. It was hilarious. <laughs> I was rolling. So, y'all, somebody mentioned something to me. I want to say this real quick. Somebody mentioned something to me. My glass is broke. Who done broke my damn glass? Lordy Jesus. Um. A hater that recently started following my channel. <laughs> Yeah, I said a hater that recently just started following my channel. She's like, why are you always shouting out mukbangers and things like that? If you don't do mukbangs, why are you always talking about them and their channels? Bitch, it's about the support. I don't even like calling women that name because that's so disrespectful. But it's all about the support. You don't get it. If you follow my channel, you watch the whole damn video, you see that I shout out people that I follow. I can talk about their channels because I follow them, I watch, I subscribe, I hit the notification bell, I like, and I comment. What the hell don't you get about that? I was like, just because I'm not a mug banger does not mean that I cannot shout out people that do mug bangs. And I always say that when I first start my channel, She's like, you do bedroom candy crafting and other stuff. You don't even eat fast like that. You don't even, I said, I don't eat fast, but I do like to eat. I like doing food reviews and stuff. And just because I'm not a mukbanger don't mean that I can't support the mukbang community. And so um, I was saying that, telling her that if you watch my things and stuff, it's all about the support. I love supporting people. I love doing things like that because that makes me feel good. And so I was like, I don't, I'm not getting what you're talking about. Like, why are you shouting out mukbangers if you don't even do mukbangs? Because I can. And it's my channel. And I can do what I want to do. That's why. <laughs> Y'all, me and these noodles today, I can't eat. I'm just dripping everywhere. But... Yeah, so when she approached me and was like, and I know the person, but 
Lord forgive me for calling her a bitch. She is not a bitch. The heifer had the nerves to come at me on some disrespectful stuff. Like, you don't do that. You just, if you don't like me shouting out mug bangers, then that's on you. Like, I'm going to shout them out. I'm going to show love. I'm going to show support. I shout out people that do crafting. I shout out people that's inspirational. Whoever I follow, I pick three different people to follow. Y'all will hear some of the same names over and over again. That's good. That means y'all will go and start following them, subscribe to their channel. So, yeah, if I if I mention their names a thousand times, I love watching more eats. I love watching, you know, Coco TTV. I love watching um, um, Yaya's Best Life. There's so many people that I love watching and supporting. So, yeah, I'm going to keep on shouting them out. And I'm like, uh, I'm going to let her hate and do what she want to do. And then it's something how people hate on you so much, but they keep up with your life so much. Like, I used to work with these girls that I know they didn't like me. I don't care. Um, but they would know what I'm doing. Like, they would follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow my TikTok. You don't like me. What are you trying to keep up with my life for? I just don't get people. Like, evidently I'm doing something that's exciting you because you follow me on all platforms. Uh, then with my bedroom candy business, I was trying to hit a goal. This is so good. With my bedroom candy business, I was trying to hit a goal. And... I was at work and I was talking about it to my friend. No, I was talking to my accountability partner. And I was saying that, you know, this is what I want to do for my goal for the day. X, Y, and Z, this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. And so she said, okay, well, let's get it. You know, let's get these goals crunched. Let's get them in and all this other stuff. I said, I'm going to get three more people. I need three more orders so I can hit my goal. I don't care about the amount of the, the, the purchase, the order. I just need three more people so I can hit my goal. So they sit in the break room. They hear me talking. They didn't say anything or whatever. So then I see up. Okay, so what kind of things y'all like? X, Y, Z, you know, it don't have to be a toy. We got lotions, you know, body sprays, this, this, and that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, candy stuff is too expensive. I can't afford candy stuff. Um, just, just negative. Just no support whatsoever. So I just don't understand how people hate on you, they hate on your life, and all this other stuff, but yet still they follow you. They they into everything that you're, you know, doing and all this other stuff. So, when she approached me about that, I was just too done. I was just too through. I was like, girl, out of all the positive stuff on YouTube and all the positive stuff that I talk about, because my channel is not about negativity. Um, I touch in a little bit about the news and stuff, because I, I watch a little bit when I'm checking the weather or things like that, but I'm not a big news watcher. I'm not a political person at all. So my channel is about positivity. So if you're watching my channel and you see this about positivity, why would you come to me with that negative energy? I'm like, take that somewhere else. I don't like it. And don't go subscribe to my YouTube family with that negative energy either. Go over there with a positive vibe. So, um, uh-oh, what did I just drop? Sorry about that. Anyway, go over there with a positive vibe, you know. And I asked her, <laughs> are you following any of them? <laughs> Why you sit up here talking about me, talking about mukbangers and supporting them, and I'm not a mukbanger. Are you following any of them? I hope you are. I'm no chef either, but I follow people that cook. <laughs> um, I'm just like, come on, let's get it together. But negative people, they just... Negative vibes, negative energy, get it away. I don't want it. Not today. No how, no way. Anyway, I'm about to show y'all two bedroom candy items. I'm about to get up off of here and enjoy the rest of my day. I know I'm not about to finish this food. I'm taking this to work for lunch tomorrow. Because I'm almost, almost about full, y'all. Almost. I'll eat some more, but 
Anyway, let me show y'all two of our bedroom candy items for today. I didn't show them in the beginning because I want my food to get cold. So this is our Pragmatism Beer Oil. And it's funny because I even use it on my hair. But it gives it like the man's beard a nice shine. It don't make it look greasy and oily. It just gives them a nice shine, makes it soft. I have a lot of customers that love this. And so um, you just use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. Don't, for you men out there, don't put a whole bunch and try to drown your beard and all that stuff. So yeah, um, it's really good. I love it. I use it on my hair as well. Now this side of shave, give it a little shine. Um, so that's our Pragmatism Beard Oil. And it's in this, just a little jar. I think this one is $23. I don't know exact prices, so we're going to edit that. No, we're not going to edit it out. Then this is Stamina. I love it. You spray this on an already erect penis. Excuse me. So it helps your male partner go longer. We love you long time. It helps them go longer. And they ain't going to give them no heart attack or nothing like that. But um, it just helps them stay harder longer to perform um, longer. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the wording. But this is stamina. Um, my customers love this as well. And you don't have to use a whole lot. Um, on the bottle, it'll give you instructions. Do not spray a whole bunch on your partner. Your partner can spray it on itself or you can spray it on your partner. You don't have to spray a whole bunch. Rub it in, massage it in, and you can wait 10 to 15 minutes. You can, you know, role play or do some things like that because he's already erect, but you want the stamina to, you know, take effect as well. Um, so wait 10, 15 minutes, you know, have foreplay. And then y'all will be ready to go, ready to get it in, ready to go. So that's prag Pragmatism Beard Oil. And stamina for the male penis spray. But y'all, thank y'all for watching and tuning in. I am about to get up off of here. But before I do, go and support my YouTube family. Um, Cuzzo AB. Go follow her mama while y'all at it. Mama uh, Cuzzo. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? ZR Family Flex. Go and follow them. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come on to run my mouth about whatever I want to talk about. I try not to keep y'all long, and this video is over my time, but I just wanted to come on and say hi. Have a great day. I'm about to get off of here. Um, Sheer Magic is out. Deuces.